finally tonight. Most of the focus of the election will be on the showdown between President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden. But no matter which way that goes, the battle for control of the House and Senate is big tonight as well. And the Carolinas could be key. WCNC Charlotte's Michelle Bowden takes a look at the role the Carolinas could play in the balance of power. Some of those key races right here in the Carolinas. So people across the country will have their eyes on the races that we'll be following as well. For the last four years, the Democrats have controlled the House, the Republicans, the Senate. But some key races put all of that in question. The Tillis Cunningham race here in North Carolina is one that's been considered too close to call, with the Democrats hoping to flip that seat. Alabama expected to turn Republican, while Colorado and Arizona both expected to turn blue. The Democrats will need to flip three seats to take back control, four if President Trump stays in power because the vice president is always the tiebreaker in the Senate. In the House, there's a lot more wiggle room with the Democrats holding a fairly big majority, 233 seats to the Republicans, 197. I'll be following the balance of power in the House and the Senate all night long on WCNC.com. You can see we've got the maps ready to go. Reporting in Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, WCNC Charlotte.